Hello again everybody, it's Robert Rhodes here, solo squash drills for beginners and improvers. Uh, last video we looked at the uh, forehand drive and trying to groove our strokes. Today we're going to look at the backhand side, uh, probably one of the most weakest shot of most beginners and improvers. So a quote from Mike Tyson, for those of you that uh, uh, follow, follow him and uh, kind of like read anything that he's, uh, he's done in his professional career. Do the things that you hate and do them like you love them. So that's perfect for uh, something like a backhand drill that is your weakness. Get in the squash court and work on it even by yourself. So we're going to start off by keeping the ball as tight as we can to this side wall. That's going to limit your opponent's opportunities to then create angles to use against you on the court. So you're going to pin them onto that side of the court. So that's going to give you a good, a good kind of chance in a game to kind of stay in rallies by pinning them on that side. Uh, what we're going to look to do is just build in some control and accuracy into our stroke and let's have a look. I was trying to start off nice and steady, bit of control, start a little bit closer towards the wall, service line. always going to be perfect. There's going to be times where you scuff the ball, you hit the wall, you don't quite make good contact with the ball. Don't worry about that. Expect things to go wrong. This is where you're learning. This is where you're developing. Try not to be too square to the ball. Okay, we don't go like this, playing shots down the backhand side for a beginner. Once we're turning our body a little bit more, so we're able to use our, our waist and our shoulder and get through the ball. It's about the contact. Where in the stroke are you going to keep the ball going straight to the wall. If you hit it too early, it's going to hit the wall and you're going to create that angle. If you hit it too late, too late in the swing, you're then going to get the ball veering off to the left rather than straight down. So it's about finding that contact point, feeling comfortable with it and trying to get that ball to come back straight. Okay? Don't worry about getting things wrong. We get things wrong all the time. Enjoy.